apart from the challenges, what are those moments you're like, wow? Yeah. No feeling up better because uh, you're the media. Yeah, the very moment that I'll never forget and that I always feel proud of. I remember when I, they first ran my promo. Ha ha ha. Now you're the one in the promo. Do you still do Akaisan? Yes, I do. I still present it and still on Abanera. Hi my people, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Dennis Duke is my name. I decided to hook up. Yes. Ante Ida. Television. And so today I decided that, you know what, let me go and speak to her. Let's get to know her story. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much, Dennis. How are you? I'm good. How are you, Dennis? How is work? <sighs> work is good. Mm -hmm. Very hectic. What's new? What's cooking? Mm -hmm. What's cooking is that I am venturing into music. <laughs> okay. Yeah. That's a very, very beautiful and new revelation. How do you intend to do that? Wow, um, I intend to do it um, basically to inspire the people who look up to me and um, to, 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 to fulfill certain uh, dreams that I've been dreaming for quite some time. There are certain things that I really want to do, but I didn't have the capacity to do them because I, was, I, I don't have money enough for me and, um, you know, to, to help other people. I love helping, so I'm taking on this career basically to do my charity. Mm -hmm. So it's really like charity. Mm -hmm. uh, well, how do you find television station? I have seen you or I have known you for about uh, four or five years now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Flash forward, when did you start TV wow. or media in general? Um, I think there was, I think there was uh, 2020 uh, television. That was uh, 2015, I think around that time. 2015, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. But where, where exactly did you start? What time did you get Top TV. She was that as in my senior for vacation. Ah. Yeah, that's when I started as um, hosting a teens show. It was called Top Teens. Yeah, so that's where I started. Actually, when I first got that job, <laughs> I didn't know. I didn't know that. I didn't know what presenting was, and I couldn't even imagine myself being a presenter. Because mm -hmm, I thought those things were presenting uh, 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 for certain class of kids. You see, kids who come from good families, rich families, and who have, who have dads and their moms who have made it in life. Yeah. So I, even when I had to dream of it, I really couldn't dream far because I knew uh, I could, it could have been really difficult for me to go in, to enter into media. So all the time I, I thought about it, I would... My mind would be like, Anne, you should not even dare think about that because there is no way that you're going to make it. Yeah, but, but one day it came to pass and I joined. I joined um, what, what, what a certain house, Nadina Dukaiwaka. If you would want to be. Yeah, Nadina Dukaiwaka. Because um what will be Narisika Nizabulungi? Nadadi. Ne my dad. Uh, by that time wali wo muchale wali wo ewaka yeah that was my mommy i grew up with my dad though and i love him so much so uh being a teenager there are certain things that i wanted to do and my dad thought that maybe i was very young to go start working and i was like you are not stopping me so we disagreed jengamat there are certain things that we fail to agree upon so i felt like i can make it i can do it you know and your parents is like and you're not the, you're not yet ready to do any job and i'm like no i have to work in my vacation i'm not just gonna sit down and wait for food so i wrote him a very long letter and <laughs> So you embark on a journey that's at top TV. That time. No, but then I was not working anywhere. Ah, you just left home because you failed to disagree. Yes, we failed to disagree. Yeah. There's a time I got to know that you're working at Sue VF. Mm, yes, that, that was actually when I had joined um Bukede. Okay. Bukede TV. That's when I joined Sue. 
immediately after joining Bukede TV, then they hooked me up for Suvi FM. But again, had I had also worked for Top Radio before, but that was late in the night with as being uh, as co-hosting with someone. So, yeah. Um, so to take you back to the uh, how how I venture into um, journalism. Mm-hmm. So I run. I go to a certain family. They. Uh, like, like I have you, Dennis. You're my friend. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, yeah, so you, you like, and they, 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 there are some sports betting companies that are opening up. You can, we can, can get some good money. And by then it was like at around uh, 150. 100. Uh, for me, it was a big <laughs> deal. It was a big deal, man. And whenever I used to talk to my dad, he's like, no way, not going anywhere. Mm-hmm. Hi, Kat, whenever I used to think of that money, I'm like, hey, I can you make some good money. That's my problem, So, Nemugamba, Biomita Hamza, Nemugamba Hamza, Waka, and Hamza was staying at his parents' place. He was not even my boyfriend. You know, when you have a boyfriend when you're young, but he was my friend. So it's like, and how can, and I'm like, you take me to your home until you get for me a job, then I'll, I'll find my life. He's like, but Anne, how am I going to tell my parents? Eh? How am I going to start explaining? Uh, they will think you automatically my girlfriend, or maybe I'm pregnant. You or something happened, <laughs> and I'm like, no, no. way. So yeah, he's like, he yeah. So he's like, okay, wait. I have an idea. He had a friend of his. I, uh, she was a bit older than him. As an old woman, uh, she had her kids around, and she told me maybe we can go talk to her, and. We see if she can, you know, shelter me. For how long? Ha, it was uh, coming to a year. Life was not easy, by the way. Because <laughs> I hustled so much because I, I, I was uh, I was a lazy girl, wakai, but you know. Okula need daddy and you are a girl. I couldn't be careless. There are certain things you want to do now. Now that I was uh, not at home, I had to show these people that I really work. I used to wake up early even when I felt like ill. I should be in bed at this time. So I worked a lot. Of course, and I had to impress her. Now I'm keeping. Now I'm busy. Again, daddy, once I'm not bang, I want to come on Sagala College. I was young, cut you all about cutting the Mutoka Tatel. So young, I'm 24. Ah, she's 24. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, if you're just joining us, uh, my name is Dennis Duke, and I'm here chatting with Ann Taylor. She works with Booked the TV, part of Vision Group, part of uh. Urban TV, also she works actually on Urban TV. So when you're working with Vision Group, you work on all uh, platforms that Vision, uh, Vision TV, uh, New Vision TV, that's mm-hmm. Urban TV, you can work on Booked. You can work on all platforms, even write for, for the newspaper. Mm-hmm. So now, mm-hmm. you come, so... So, so, so when, I, when I was uh, that family, I, 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 I was there and I had no idea what I even want to be in my what I want to be in life. I didn't know whether I should be a doctor, a lawyer, and certain subjects were not really fair for me. So I really didn't know what I want to be. So I was like, okay, fine. So I was just like, okay, was like, okay, fine. One day, I was like, okay, fine. So one of the kids, Nagamba, I was like, okay, fine. So I was like, eh. But we top TV by then, yeah, in Nigeria, we inji. So I go, ah, no one will work alone. Sit on the sofa and call out TV. And I'm like me, no. And then I used to hide my real true colors, like I was, I was showing a hand, but because I'm like, no way, this <laughs> case I've not even seen my true colors come out. Like, yeah, I can't be that. So uh, they told me, I think you can. And I'm like, really? Do you think so? I'm like, yeah. So those girls discovered me because I, like I told you, whenever I used to think about it, or maybe I can be a presenter, the other back of my mind is like, no, you can't. Of course you know. How are you going to start? Who will who will allow you in? Did you go to the best schools? No. Do you have a rich dad? No. All those things. So I used to push back myself. So we wrote an application and we took it to Top TV and I was auditioned. I didn't get that job like come instantly. Get instantly. No, it took me like eight months. Before they 
called you back. before they called me back and the auditions had like um 1000 people who had come through. how many how many slots were they uh auditioning for oh uh, any the tv was had just started or no had, no it had not just started but like how you can want to revamp yeah. So you get new talent. Mm -hmm. New talent, new, 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 new you shed you, new people, mm -hmm. and everything. Like probably when our different management comes in place and they want to do everything, uh, like transform each and everything. So that's how it all started. Yeah, but the programs were all they were all there before. It wasn't new. So, so, so you go to uh, record, uh, rather to Top TV, and you start doing an entertainment show. How was life while there? Were they paying you instantly? that's where it gets crazy uh the first time they gave me it was two hundred thousand that they paid me so i was like i was about to ask the boss what's this money for <laughs> i didn't know it was a job i i, I just found it, was it fun and i thought it's fun being on tv so it was a miracle in the first place and uh, is something I had not gone to school for like now that I did journalism fine I was a kid I thought it's fun to yeah. be active to we enjoy music so like, why am I being paid because I'm talking mm. I did know it was yeah so I was paid it was fun I was paid mm -hmm. so when do you now leave top TV for booking Wow, so when I left Top TV, stuff happened and the show was shut down. Mm -hmm. The show was closed, uh, nasty stuff happened there. So I felt so bad. I felt like I should have all my life there. I really felt bad. I didn't see myself looking for any other. <laughs> I know, I, I've also been in the same situation. Uh, there's a place I used to work at, and I felt like, okay, I think this is home. Yeah. Until one morning when I had to actually leave. It was sad, but well, once, once you look at career advancement, sometimes you want to move on. Yes. So, 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 so that was the feeling. I felt sad, I felt down. But um, uh, me, I had a friend, she was called Precious. We were working with her. Uh, we were co hosting together. So we, we, we started a search, and the search was tight. Very, very tight. So How long did you take before getting another job? I think it took me like um, it could be it could be two years. Wow! Yeah, that's really like really, really long. long. It, it was long enough to do patience. Okay. It's just that we don't really have enough time to go through my story. My my story is a long, long and one. deep. So um, it took me like close to two years before getting anywhere. I would phone different people who wanted to take advantage of us, you see, the media, I knew that. Mm, lying to you, oh, I'm going to take you to citizen, but then you see he wants now to touch you in different ways that you're not comfortable with. So I faced it all that way, but of course I didn't give in. I won't lie to you, and if I, if I did, I would have told you. I didn't give in, so I'm telling you what I faced, uh, looking for another job. So my friend eventually gave up. She gave up. Until today? Yeah, completely. She never back on TV, but she no. did another job. And yeah, she, she did something else. I, I, she even traveled mm. out of the country. So um, uh, she gave up. Mm -hmm. I was like, this is what I'm destined for. I must do this. A very determined woman. And uh, I think that really kept me going, it kept me going so far. So I went to WBS, uh, the auditions there. I remember. Which year are we talking? Which year are we talking about? I will not lie to you. The years are going by. So, um, and then it we didn't get enough WBS the auditions there. So for that, that one WBS before it closed, eh? uh, I even went to Prayer Mountain because I really wanted this job. job. And I cried to God. I was like, God, you must answer my prayers. Please look down on me. I prayed to God. I rolled in the star. Like, I did everything. I cried to God. I had done the auditions already. I didn't go with anyone. I didn't know anyone there. But... I didn't get the job and I felt so disappointed. I'm like, God, you didn't they hear never my called you after they never did and, and, and they never even like uh they never took down our numbers. Uh, 
So yeah. there is possibly no way that they could have gotten in touch with you guys. Yeah, maybe. I don't know why they were doing that. Um, now I can think of it and I'm like, why did they even do that? But before I didn't even mind us. Just they should see me and take me. So it didn't go well for WBS. It failed. Then uh, one friend of mine called me. There was a, uh, there was a show, a teen's show. Because he had seen me on... Uh, Someone told told him that I was good at a top teen teens shows, mm. so they called me for record TV. When they called me for record TV, it wasn't really a job; it was sitting in for someone. But before me, I thought it was a job. Hmm. So I go there, eh, but stuff was tight. Dennis, I, I had you had to do your own, get your own clothes. You had to. Uh, invest in transport and everything. There was a lot to put in. Um, I was not really being paid. <sighs> and there were people there who were being paid. So, nga ogenda because you want, you think, or maybe one time they'll call me. So, before, before I even know it, then they tell me, hey, nanyi nisha kozeji. Okay. So you had that's been sitting now, on... Yeah, that's was, when I now was a sitting, but before they didn't really tell me so that. Couldn't, they didn't they take you up for another? Okay. No, they didn't. So you and had, you I, had to retire. And I met a very bad woman in there who seemed not to really like me. I don't know for what reason, but she just... There are certain people who just don't like you without no reason. They just don't like you. and It's okay because sometimes people feel like that. So, Munange... Mm, I felt bad that I was not being paid, but I thought that, oh, now I've got back to TV. Maybe someone somewhere will see me and I'll get a job. But before I left a record, I was always telling those guys, you know what, you guys, I am going to get a job. Uh, no, I was telling them, I'm going to go to New Vision. You see, record by then was it ready. Was just it was closed. So all the time I used to point this side of New Vision. And time I'm going to walk into that place and ask for a job. So I never used to say, they're like, shut up. Keep quiet. Who's going to give you a job in that place? Who? Would you please stop it? Like, stop making fun of yourself. Whenever I used to say, eh. So one time, after record was done, I came. You just walked in? Yes. Uh-huh. No work. nothing, no, no, no application, no, no nothing, no body. I want to, you just come, I wanted you. I came. I just came. I mean, there's, there are things that I've done, by the way, but <laughs> I think they happened to me in, in a miraculous way. I keep saying, oh, like I used to keep saying, one time I'll do music, I'll do music, I'll do it, but I never really get to do it. So. This time round, when I say I am going, nothing stops me. You're still watching my channel, Dennis Duke, Uganda. And today I have Ante Ila. She works with Bukede TV, very, a very vibrant TV presenter in the country. And as I speak now, she's doing miracle on the set. Don't you go away. I'll be right back in a minute. Not even a minute, in a second actually. All right, we are still here talking to Ann Taylor. Welcome back from that short break. Dennis Duke is my name. Ann Taylor is a very vibrant television station, uh, television presenter right here at Bukede TV. Akola Neku Urban TV. Akola Neku Nebi into Binji. She's a NMC. Akola Ku XFM. She has literally done it all in a space of about, uh, I don't know how long, but we are going to get there. Uh, before we went off, uh, you were telling us that you just walked in mm -hmm. and asked for a job. Yeah, at, so, at, mm. so it was a go on. So I, I walked in, I asked to see the manager, and uh, I, I was happy. I saw the manager, I wasn't stopped. Uh, this, some, some places you go and you're like, they're like, you do you have an appointment? You mm. don't have an appointment, so please make an appointment. And they really make it hard for you. So I just walked in and I go to talk to the manager. Then the assignment I was given, la 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 la. But since I'd gone through a lot before, this was really it was li little nothing. Mm hmm Because I'd, I'd 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 struggled, all right. I'd hustled. So he, uh, the manager asked me, you know what? Compared to the concept that I had, I was giving him. Uh, he said, uh, what you should do? Um, I need you to go and shoot about. But did, did he ask for 30 resort beaches 
in Uganda and then bring him all that footage. I was like, the list I know is on my fingertips. Dido Beach, uh -huh. Resort Beach. Mm. Those beaches. Those beaches. So, could it even be possible that there are more than that? Mm. Dennis, because I wanted the job. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hey! You took up what he had assigned you to do. I took it up. Mm -hmm. And I was like, okay, it's better. So uh, I, I took it up, but then um, I had to call, uh, get in touch with him again to see if they can provide me with camera and a camera person to go start shooting those things. So uh, I started calling him, calling him. Uh, sometimes he picks, sometimes he doesn't really pick. Yeah, and I'm like, here we go again. I've seen this happening before. So one time, um, but, oh, sorry, before that, I went and did all the research and I got the list and I visited all those places and I, and I had asked for permission because the main thing was asking for permission. To have a recording there. Yes. Mm -hmm. So I did all the assignment, mm -hmm. 30 of them, I covered them though. Sometimes when I was going to different places, it was really hard. I had to lie. I work with Bukede TV. And by then, my, even now, who doesn't know Bukede TV? So they will really welcome me, welcome me in so fast. And in my heart, I'm like, oh, God, I'm lying. But well, you had to do everything possible. <laughs> I had possible. to do it. Uh, wow. so, because if I had explained in any other way, they would be like, who is this one? Nobody. And they would not entertain that. So... Um, time you could shooting a demo. time Demo Demo Maloji shooting. camera person. Um, I am, I have. Um, I have two sides, two sides of Aunt Taylor. I have this Aunt Taylor who has come here, and then I have the other Aunt Taylor at work. So, Mulaloli Mulala Aha, Gomanibon, Nakatgorium, the manager also had said that I don't know. You look at me and you like, oh, she even managed. So I went, I gave it my best. My best. Netuja. Ne, I know you are senior producer. Senior producer is like a, so. The man, now the manager has has said, uh, now you're going to talk to the senior producer, let him take you through, and then we shall see from there what to do. Now, drama again with the senior producer. It wasn't that easy. It wasn't. A <laughs> no. Mm. <laughs> Naga, um, but this concept. Um, you need to think of something else, you see, something that is not anywhere. And believe me, Dennis, the concept was not anywhere. Mm. And <laughs> you for see? you, it was something that you thought would possibly make yes. get people's attention. Exactly, it so. would. Ah, but Ebola, Ebola, something like what do I do? I think of something else. So I started coming up with ideas, but whichever idea I came up with, uh, that person would be like, Eh, Chibula, Munange, or would they never told all it at Dalla? Still, it was coming to us to a year. Nango Mulino Nanga before even all that, Nadina Jacoda, Nedabako Mamma Mulala, cutting up by then, book at the one new untiao. Nanga watch it and take a banjo with the two eta a. A naya for Kabuke did. Cutty before even that, Eda would go in a sabo kunta Kabuke did too. We chat and I go back auditioning for Urban. What do you mean, Charlie? Why Ha! We're not doing Kola Urban. Odi Ogundi audition. Gamba, we're not doing a striker. 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 We're not
it was a no. But as we speak now, you work at Urban. Yeah, so <laughs> life, life understood. You yeah. see? <laughs> I, I remember the first time I I I, ordi- I wanted a job. Yeah. I went to NTV. Mm-hmm. They didn't give me. Apparently, I'm mm-hmm. 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 to I went to NBS. Mm. They didn't give me. Mm. Everyone's like, uh, uh. Mm. until when I went to WBS, mm. I got that job. Yeah. From WBS, I came to New Vision. I got that job. Now from here, I also went to NBS. Yes. And every time I, I meet the person who told me, uh, uh, I want to tell my, but do you remember? <laughs> Apparently, they, they don't remember. They don't remember. Um, even that lady I was, I was telling you, the one who said, no, 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 this is more of a, stru- a struck or something. So, but she became too close to me. But I didn't even remind her. But I hey, usually want to remind somebody. You Do you remember? I know. <laughs> then there was a time I was sitting at, a recep- at the reception, at the TV reception. So I was sitting there. Now, there are some people who have been working, like we work here now. Kakati Munai, I was sitting there. Uh, I was waiting to see the manager b- when I brought back my results, uh, the, the search and all that. So one of the presenters came and said, You, what are you doing here? On our college one. Like Tamani Simumani. I'm going to go to the table. I'm going to go to the table. Hey, I got up and I, I, I stood outside like I was told. Now I present for you. Right now I'm. You are way up above and, and, and for them. That's why I could you that it Usually people don't uh, tend to remember certain things that they do to other people. I usually tell people do not feel like okay, I have reached. Life life usually changes and, and stuff changes. The person you possibly left at the doorstep will definitely reach somewhere and yes. And I've seen that a lot. Me when I was starting to look for a job. I went to those top-notch TVs, mm. and and right now as I speak, that the TVs I'm working for. Mm. But if, early then, mm. they could not hire me. I, I, um, also I, I, also, I also remember I went to look for a job at NTV. Mm. I was one of those that then trying to pressure us. office so 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 Anne, um, yeah how long have you been at Bukhead the TV? Since 1980, 19 is now five. Five. Wow. So let's 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 uh, flash back. We shall come to this point later. Um until that Yani. Mamanya Gama to Fragalidi. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's more like a white person. I'm telling you. I know she'll get there one day. <laughs> um, Ann Taylor, Yemayanja, Anna, Chamlabi. Mayanja. So, how does Mayanja Anna turn into Ann Taylor? Ann Taylor, now, Nakula comes sports betting been to a sports betting company before that was working there. Mm. So Bali uh, Mugonde ya call center. Those guys who are the locations if they have any problems, challenges with clients, they can always call in to deleting and all receipts. So uh there were there was a certain guy whom we used to work with, he's called Joe Wader. He's called Joe Wader. So all the time he phoned me, he used to make fun of me. Whenever he said, My name is manager and like no your name is ann taylor like that and i hated the name so bad and i'm like why does it love my name so he kept on joking like that so when i got the chance i was thinking you always have to get a name that is outstanding i was thinking of so many things that is old-fashioned but I didn't know you know this saga like that. No, say Ann. That's not. Now you want to have money, did that? I'm Peter Anna. Oh, you are the one who does things like money. Ah ha. I think I'm the. Ah ha. At that money, then there are many, many, many. Baba, I'm Peter Anna Bell. Okay. Hey. Yeah. So when we don't want to act like Anna, I just. 
I know banga either wa ava muchalo I know <laughs> Yes okay. because even in school I used to be they used to call me Anne no bana sala kenyele so Anne is from Anna and Taylor I I I got off the Mayanja and Chamlabi then I I got I carried on Taylor Chitegeza oli muchala muganda bakuzala Banzala kanzi you get there is simple good day Banzala Metiana I'm not missing Rwachi toli Rwachi toli shua Siri shua because um the nakulani dad I didn't really see my, my, my dad take me to his family, uh, relatives. All Is that. he still around? Yes, he's around. So there's a possibility. Watch to move on Yeah, yeah, my not to allow you. Nay, like to 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 Oh, my mom is there. My mom is there, by the way. Okay. <laughs> my mom is Jali. She's even now a pastor. Jali. Jali and I, um, I think they got misunderstandings and she walked away when I was really, really at a tender age. My dad says I was eight months old when my mom left me. So from then forth, he took over. How was life without mama? Oh, it was okay because I didn't even, I didn't even know the meaning of mama. So, Chota Man. Chikuluma, Chomanche Chikuluma. Had I been with a mom, Ngandi Moto, I would miss her love. I'd be like, oh, where's my mommy? But I was seeing my dad. The first thing I like, I got to understand was daddy. So then I didn't mind to Moto Abeda Namu, Daddy, Mommy, Eda Yabeda, Daddy, Ne Daddy, Yaba, Mommy. So when do you come to know that, hey, you know, you're a mother? Oh, Wana, when I didn't answer Nyanabo. Gabuveda won't secure it. Pugamba go train a mamma, go mamma or yaffa. You know how kids can gamodia over the so queer for neither. Sas really young, cutting it and gango was at a time. You know, mamma wanga, but truly, Dennis, the Nadisimani mamma chich tegeza. Gamazin, Nadisimani. Gana went a baba and Nanga, but Ambula Nava, cause I'm like over Tambula Nava. Nothing I double mananga, you know, such a manuita at a week. Ah, how much we made? How was life really? Life was, was life was tough. Uh, it it was tough. It I have so many sweet memories with my dad, very sweet memories with my dad. Life was tight. Nay, I can assure you, I have never seen. A man, and I think I'll never see him. Ngata ata wangi. Zingindo bedo. Namba kwe funi. Tosa wola Dennis wa mpeda mpezi. Tosa wola beda ye because yadi omanyo mtu kubanga bakuleke do mwana anga mtu. No mkuza ngoli musaji anga mwala. Atenga tolese na mkazi mwala. Atenga na iya. So daddy wa ya mwala nafuna ya bana bana. Hey, I did not, I have a, an elder sister. Hey. So, uh, flash forward, uh, you grew up, so which schools did you go to? Hmm. Wow, the schools I went to, I went to so many schools. Could so you mention a few of them? I went to Mbogo High, I went to Good Daddy Primary School, I went to, um, what's that place, Homies Darling Primary School, that's Boyogiri. I went to Chiyocha Parents Secondary School. Yeah, and I've been a lover. Some of them I don't even remember them. I've been a lover. Baby, my dad was struggling with life all around. So, my all he can. Yeah, and he did. So, so, when do you join UMCAT and oh, how? When I joined UMCAT, that, that was after Crane Media. I'd, I'd been to Crane Media. You've done, you had done the same course? Yes, same course. Now, yeah, I wanted to upgrade to a diploma. So, um, after Crane Media, I was Yeah. Did you graduate? I did. Did you tell me? Just something I haven't told you. I went to the same institution with her, the same college, and we all studied journalism. That's why you see us uh, relating to us some sort of memories back then. You see, I was in school, and I think she was in a, a different same, I think, I'm thinking. And then I used to see how okay. Yeah. Hey, but Dennis, you uh. could feel it eh? at campus. <laughs> <laughs>
Zenga mkutia na mkutia mna Eh mama those guys eh Bayi na munga mwewe tugamba bakola mwe <laughs> No um maybe twa ina bantu nga twa ina kakundi ya kakundi Yeah 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 you are a click Yeah. Yes. In our, you know when you know when you are in a different semester, mu ina mwa so you don't. Really, yeah, but at least I used to associate. That's how. Yeah, it came yeah, to you're know very, you. very, very, very. Yeah, yeah. So, so Anne, um, uh, just in a brief, uh, before I actually, let's take a very short break. We'll be right back. Hi, people. You're still watching Dennis Duke, Ugandan. My name is Dennis Duke Oniala. I'm here with Anne Taylor of Bukhead the TV, Antail of Urban TV, Antail of Vision Group. Yes, I have mentioned them all. Antail now wants to... And, and Exactly, that's where I'm, I was getting to. Antail wants to venture into music. And uh, the probability for me, well, to to njamala mulaba, then in tandi koka kasa kuba sija kukiriza. Nonetheless, we are just getting to know her, you know, her life, where she has been. And uh, like you've seen in my previous videos, Nasazio this time round to, to hook these people up to, to trigger where they've come from how life has been in a brief you know in a few minutes what are those hardships you've gotten in life uh, basically in the media fraternity mm. the media mm -hmm. it's easy to say it is Techari chango, of course. O queen gida into me. The noble mazo some cause Nadamo no in your of course, and then I could umcut. You remember? Nanga and Zedan Zidan and Gunonia. Edan and Maridiza, Goredi and Gufin and Atting and Chasoma umcut. So O queen gida chiba de chizibunio. A tewo yingida. A tedo sang over mafia. Abataku kidiza, Gubeda wo. Eh? Baman. I was going to go to one of one. This new girl. Eh? Mm. When I just come and someone made me cry. A few minutes to the show. And people thought I was not going to do that show. And yet it was my first. Almost my first week. Hmm? I was going to go to very, very sensitive. Mm. So. So. I was Even now. To begin. I was going to go to the show. Abataga is a banji, a bowed over me because Anne Catacola a band because Anne Catacola X or why her or why did Caption I mention her name or why she having that nice hair or you know, like people feel bad for no reasons. I want to wherever to wherever into a sango na beach, cope on a gala kuja, program bagala did jack and all that. So those are the challenges in media but apart from that apart from the challenges what are those moments you're like wow yeah no feeling up better because uh, you're the media yeah the very moment that i'll never forget and that i always feel proud of remember when I, they first ran my promo <laughs> ha, ha, ha. <laughs> now you're the one in the promo do you still do a me, me, yes i do i still present it and Still on Abanera. Nkola ku stations bidi. Mm, and who am I? I mm. mean, there's so many people and they are I don't know how to get to the world. Why did you get to the world? So, um, on a kurenala wa promo yangi. Ngeza nya. Ngabi sari wa tutuna na agenda digito. It was a way. How do you find yourself uh, working with Kere Kere? How do you find him? Very nice person. He's now more of a brother. He's a very welcoming person, very loving person. He's like a brother. He's someone go go kanga anagamba go watch out. Whatever they can call baby sister. So yeah. Now, of course, there are also challenges working mm. as a as a duo. Mm. Are they there? Mm, not really. But okay, there are some days when uh, we, we you see we all get problems, issues at home. Sometimes the old minds or could you move a I am your bias and your mom when you get But apart from that, uh, uh, it is always good. And Taylor, as we wind up, where do you see yourself in the next couple of min uh, years, possibly five or, yeah, let's say five? Where do you see yourself? If God helps me, like He's already helping me, if He really Put, uh, everything goes as you but, think. Yes, everything goes as I think. I um I'll be international. Yeah, I want to see myself at that level and not not international just for, for showbiz but 
njagala nyamba abantu njagala nyamba okusinga abana obulambo mm. nakulira mm. I, 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 i would want omwana oyo ataina ayamba alemebula aba mm. abereko gwaga mu muntu ono ya nyamba i want to to be a hero to the children uh, to help children so internationally i want to be recognized for that Yes. Who, who inspired you to start doing journalism or media work? Hmm. Sweetie, mm -hmm. I inspired myself. Nobody. Nobody. Yes, I'm at the TV. Mm -hmm. Struck what? But I'm going to go to the TV. 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 I'm People who have better looks than you, people can. I'm in jail today. I'm to sing it at that. So, so Anne, mm -hmm. uh, to 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 find your kind of voice, yo. Now, if you want to do some voice, you know, you work on your back. You want to venture into music. Mm -hmm. Why music? It looks like every person is in music. Why music? Yeah, and that's why I really <laughs> gets me to laugh because to to for everyone is like like how everyone is running into politics. <laughs> <laughs> but some of us who cannot run the other side. Okay, I'm not saying to you, I'm not saying Why music? It, it has been part of my dreams that I want to feel fair. Are you quitting media? No, I'm you not just quitting. Uh, yeah, I'll just do it as no, no, like a side business. Ko. Hey, I'm not going to go to the side business. I'm not going to go to the side business. I'm not Why music? Because I'm not going to go to the side I've been favored and uh, Devanjagala you see people say, I love you Aunt Taylor. So um I've always wanted to do it from the start. It's what I wanted to do by the journalism and But I didn't have money then. You see? Cutting But now I'm in that position. Where, where I can facilitate my music, I can uh, invest in my music. Mm. And why music? Music is the only thing that can help me reach my goals, reach my dreams. You see, I have to help my family, my sisters, my brother, my dad, I have to, my, 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 my mom. You know, I'm a family. I'm a family. I'm a abana kufikala abantu owe bato naye kati sijja kukwata sente nzi wa abantu bamba mba building the home ngane ba abe wa feba kaba of course we not tandi kire wa mwe then no gende wa aha chowe chitwe chino kubera kati we nalabanga nageza ako fast to chikola naye ngandaba tewali buli gwe ngambo waye mba yo kusukali mba ya kaunganga nange ntade ko sente zange Ganda, but no one is coming on board. No one is coming on board. No one. Eh, ngatwali ya vayo. Nenga bangenda kola antia. Remember charity? Or why you siku funa? Or why you? Ura mutima. Mutima go. Mutima go. My dad told me of a certain story. Uh, Jeno kasiri kwaanga one time. Yari mugabi nyu nyu nyu. Kat one time bali baba kufa munga saze nte. Na tu kanga abu watu kabu ya mwa mwaka vela, mwaka vela, mwaka vela, nebatu uke waka. Katana ni mwamu gamba, dad, afenga nyamba tetuina, mwamu banai, tuna tujigabi, mwamu gende kubucha mugulechi, enyama. Kata chita kisa nchi, omutu otu, obwa ogaba na mutima guo, tuwa gaba nchi wesi gali zewo. Hmm? Kati chengu gami denis, nchi sandi agade, family yangi njaka loji yamba, nyo 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 nyo. This has been my dream. Perhaps God could help me through this. When I was all that, I my family. So I'm doing music for charity. That's beautiful. As we wind up, um, I'm going to right now. Possibly somebody has always been there and like, wow, Auntie Idi Ankole da Burundi, Auntie Idi Abichi Abichi. What advice would you give them? I would tell them to uh, stay focused and most of all, put God first. I'm a born again Christian. Put God first in whatever you do, and the rest shall follow you. Nzinsaba, nyo, na vionani wenafunanga challenges ezo. 
nazita ngam because nari nganga sabati ngani mede konyo na yenga sigenze tingi ndendo gen kolechi na yenga mbita de maso katonda so put good first remain focused and don't let your dream die echiro tocho toche bakira fulfill your dream atebera wampisa don't don't feel no other katona ina wa kuta dengo la ba anyo msingi da dala msingo lizungu msingi mtabu msinga looks be humble humble yourself because one time umuntu yo gowe la gide ko jamwe taga and you never know when yes all right thank you so much aunt taylor for giving us your time well i've been chatting with aunt taylor of bukhead the tv hub and tv vision group all the platforms i have to mention them once again my name is dennis duke like i told you this month and going forward i'm going to look out for these persons bagenda kubabu gira jemuli baba bulide emboze zabu baita muchi okulabo muntu ku tv okulabo muntu ku youtube tomany there is a story behind those particular persons even me myself i have a story to tell but who will host me anyway I will. I will do that. <laughs> nonetheless she will do that so I, I want you to get inspired i want you to get motivated to know that there is still hope for you out there who is perhaps struggling to become like these persons today it's aunt taylor tomorrow is somebody else tomorrow it could be you tomorrow i'm coming i might come to you and interview you so don't you go away keep subscribing sharing and of course liking my name is dennis duke until then it's a goodbye from us. Hi there, I'm, I'm here chilling with Dennis Duke. Please subscribe. Yes, press that button. Subscribe to this YouTube channel. There's so much more that you're going to enjoy on this channel. Subscribe, please. Eh?